Hello world and my dear students, welcome to another tutorial. Today, as you see, we will create a um, flat iron or electric iron, electric iron. And unlike my other tutorials, this will be a speed tutorial. So I will do most of the steps instead of the curves. Uh, they are already here and um, but all the, the surfacing I will show you, but in fast forward mode. The reason why I'm doing this is um, you did the, um, I guess you did the um, Odyssey chair before, and this is the next step to using the techniques you used in the chair now here on your own. And um, an iron is perfect and, and a perfect example and a perfect exercise for getting better into the topic of surface modeling. That's the reason why I'm doing this and um, let's jump right into it. Before I start the speed mode I just want to explain some things about the sketches and the curves and then there will be no more explanations and just to give you a little um, help if you don't know how to do it on your own, that you get um, more or less the steps uh, you can see then. Okay, um, I don't have any measurements actually here in my scene. The only um, thing that you could do when you insert the canvases, then you can give it um, the, the bottom line here more or less 20 centimeters okay so that you have a rough um, guidance and as usual uh, prepare your images that they fit together and make sure it would help you that um, the origin point is here the tip of the iron good then um, don't be confused with too many lines here in the sketch. So when I just hide this my image, and actually the only sketches you need here is, as you see, um, a middle line and then one long um, bow actually or curve, and make sure that this curve is definitely just longer than actually your iron is okay all the stuff which is longer will be cut away by the trim tools later so okay don't end up uh, your stuff here we are training the trimming tools that's the reason why you make it longer okay that's the sketch from the top nothing more actually um, I created here another sketch for the button that, that this will come later uh, not that important and let's check here the side view see here and the sketches I did here I have a, you have a little bit more of work be sure that the points is the point of the bottom sketch is of course snapping to that one also this line is longer than the actual iron and also this guidance or these lines are just um, three point arcs on a line here and you see they are all longer let's switch to the right view they are longer than the actual object also these guidelines they are just the decoration um, for later you can also do them a little bit different. They are just a design element. You can do any guy, any decoration lines that you want. Okay, so um, the one in the middle, you see, I created that with a line, and I have actual a radius here. So you can also create it with. Um, fit point spline. I did this outer line with a fit point. It's the same process as we did at the Odyssey chair. So we're doing exactly the same here. And 
Yeah, and be sure that your lines have as less points as possible, always. Yes, uh, that is the sketching. You have to do this first and I will now jump right into the surfacing with these guidelines. Okay, here we go.
So this is what I end up with. A nice little rendering. And um, just wanted to mention here that this was my cool light setup here and just some plastics on it. And what I did is um, my fillet wasn't connecting well and it seems that the uh, border was, um, the, the rendering was not fine. And so I switched back here in the fillet command. You see when you select some of the fillet, um, then here some lines pop up and that means, okay, this was the command. command. And what I did, I added the feature and set here the curvature from tangent to curvature. Um, this is actually a better calculation of the surface bending. I think I could explain it in that way. Um, tangent is fine. Actually, you don't see much of a difference here in the image, uh, except here in the front. But the um, curvature uh, is here a little bit. You, you don't see a difference here, but in the rendering you would see uh, some kind of a line here going and the curvature is calculating that transition between the surfaces and the fillet um, tangent. Okay, um, much more perfect. So just keep in mind when you have the same issue. Okay, that was the quick iron tutorial. I hope you could follow up with everything. It's just basic geometry, okay? An iron is, there's would be much more to do, but I just wanted you to learn the basics of surfacing a little bit better. And for that, this is fully fine. Of course, you can do some more details if you like. Uh, but that's up to you.